Impossible? What is impossible? Was it impossible for the humble son of an Alabama cotton farmer to enter the politically charged arena of Berlin, win four gold medals, the hearts of the world, and become the true message and lasting memory of the 1936 Olympics? Was it impossible for a young girl who at the age of six was diagnosed with incurable polio, whose doctors told her she would require leg braces for the rest of her life, to go on to win three gold medals in Rome? Was it impossible for an athlete who one day decided to jump over the bar backwards instead of forwards, who was laughed at and booed at every track meet, to go on to win gold and revolutionize his sport in the process. Was it impossible for a man who barely qualified for the Olympic finals to take off into the thin air of Mexico City and land somewhere in the next century, shattering a world record that had hardly changed over four decades by 55 centimeters? Was it impossible that the first gymnast to score a perfect 10 would also be the second to score a perfect 10, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh. At the age of 13, was it impossible for a skinny 18-year-old from Kentucky to become heavyweight champion of the world, only to be stripped of all his titles and his freedom because of his beliefs, only to come back stronger and faster than ever before, to become the greatest of all time. Was it impossible for a team of unknowns, immigrant sons, underestimated and doubted in their own country, to surprise the world's very best, grow from game to game, and go on to win the World Cup and the hearts of an entire nation? Was it impossible for a simple shoemaker from a small town, inspired by his passion for sport and athletes, to pioneer an entire industry and become the founder of the world's largest and most innovative sports company? Wasn't. Don't accept impossible. Adi didn't. Athletes don't. And we never will.